Hi guys and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This will be the third bot introducing the same direction cannons, file chariot versus French chariot opening system. Uh, today we will mark the start of a new very important variation in this opening system. Mobile Red will play the double headed snake pawns and Black will counter the double uh, rank chariots variation. Now Black's double rank chariot variations is considered to be one of the best, uh, if not the best counter against red double headed snake pawns. So without further ado, let us begin. Central cannon, same direction cannons, file chariot, rank chariot, proper horse, rank chariot crosses the palace, p3 plus 1 to allow for development of this horse and prevent the development of this horse. Black solidifies the center. Now this is uh, one of the modern ways of playing this opening system whereby Black would choose to fortify his center, central foul. Uh, it is also uh, one of the best counters that Black has. Uh, it's the most antagonistic of all the counters. And we would often play p7 plus 1. Now if when Black plays p7 plus 1, the third and seventh pawn are pushed forward. This is called the double headed stick pawns. And uh, this would allow for the development of both horses later on. Now, the downside is that uh, we would have used up two moves to move the pawns very early in the game. Uh, this would be the sixth ply, so one third of the moves would be used to pushing the pawns, used for pushing the pawns. So, uh, this will result in a slightly slow, temp uh, slow paced game. And black would usually counter with the double rank chariot variation, which is one of the most antagonistic counters as mentioned earlier. Uh, this is the classical position. And in this board, Red would attack with h3 plus 4. This is a proactive approach that uh, signals that Red is going to go for attack. Uh, it would also be the position of discussion for this board. Now faced with Red's aggression, there are two major uh, orthodox counters. The first would be r4 plus 7, the other would be r4 equals to 6. So let us see uh, variation A, r4 plus 7. Now uh, black counters aggressively, moves the chariot to the elephant's eye uh, as he prepares to launch a counter attack. Uh, doing so has, a se has several advantages. First of all, this chariot will become an immediate threat very close to the king and it will also block the elephant from protecting the cannon thus slightly weakening red's central foul. Another advantage would be once this chariot has moved this black chariot will now have an open line to traverse either to uh, 4, 6 or other fouls for attack as need be. Uh, this, that's why this is considered to be a strong move. Uh, usually Red will continue with C8 plus 2. Now, uh, there are two advantages for doing so. First of all, the cannon will now protect the horse, uh, whereby it can station on the riverbank temporarily for attack. And once uh, C8 plus 2 was played, if let's say Red uh, Black played R4 equals to 3, Red will gladly sacrifice his elephant and protect his horse in this manner and trap the uh, potentially trapping the Black Chariot. So uh, this, uh, this move is considered to be a good move by Red that allows Red to make gains on both the offensive and defensive ends. Now if Red immediately played c5 equals to 4, Black will counter with p5 plus 1 to launch an immediate attack on the central foul because now there's only one horse guarding the central pawn and Black was ready to develop both horses from the central foul, so we would gain an immediate advantage. R8 plus 4 would not be a good idea also because now, since the horse was not protected, Black would play R1 equals to 6 to threaten the horse, and after trading material, uh, actually Red would, uh, sorry, Black would refuse and simply uh, play R4 plus 7. Now if the horse say if the horse captured material, Black will be prepared to checkmate with the crowning checkmate. So that is why uh, once the horse was here, 
And when the chair is here, it would not bear to move, and Black could take his time to readjust his formation, and Black would have the advantage. So C8 plus 2 uh, is considered to be a better move than C5 plus uh, equals to 4 or C8 plus 4. And Black would usually counter <coughs> with his pawn sacrifice. Now, this would force Red to give up the cannon mount so that the horse will not be protected and the chariot can attack. Uh, this will allow, also allow both the red, black chariots to live up to their potential and uh, make their presence known on the board. Now, if alpha minus one will play, black will immediately protect the horse. E3 plus five, and red will now uh, red will now attack the cannon. In this manner, Red would have been initiated because, uh, for example, if Black retreated the cannon, uh, Red could attack the pawn to threaten to capture the horse, etc. And once the cannon is captured, this chariot will now be under the threat of the advisor. So Red would have the initiative and Black would have wasted a few moves in the process. So P3 plus 1, a voluntary sacrifice. P7 plus 1, R1 equals to 6, R4 plus 3, and black, uh, in, in the main line, uh, R6 plus 2 was played. Another option would be to play R6 plus 3, whereby black would now try to target this pawn, retreat, threatening to capture the horse, offering a trade of material. And both colors will be attacking very intensely, and it will be very hard for either color to control the situation, and and the room or margin for error will be minimal. So, uh, this is a very exciting variation. R6 plus 3. Uh, but in the book, R6 plus 2 was played, P3 plus 1, and C, C, uh, P5 plus 1 by black will be prepared to push to develop the horse from the central file for attack. So. Uh, this will also be characteristic of same direction of the same direction cannons opening system, whereby both colors would be attacking very aggressively. In variation B, R4 equals to six. Black would uh, use up one move to place the chariot over here. Now, with this move, Black would signal that he will adopt a wait and see approach, and so that he. Uh, he could target Red's attack uh, even more accurately. Now, usually, R4 plus, uh, H4 plus 3 to capture the pawn will be advocated. It would not be a good idea to play H4 plus 6 to threaten the horse because Black would protect the horse in this manner, offering the trade material, and both colors will be fighting for the initiative. The presence of this chair over here is very threatening because once the, cat, the horse moved away, Black will be attacking this very important foul. And this will lead to many complicated variations. And one of the major uses of playing the double rank chair is, is the possibility of R1 equals to 3. So H4 plus, tricks, H4 plus 3 to capture the pawn is advocated. And usually Black will patrol the riverbank uh, with this move. Now if he played H6, R6 plus 2 to threaten the horse, we will protect the pawn in this manner. Then we develop his other chariot, protect the pawn, threaten the pawn, protect the pawn again, again threatening the pawn. The entire focus of the board will now be this red pawn, P3 plus 4, threatening to checkmate and Red would have the advantage as he counted in this manner. So if let's say Red would have this very brilliant move, let's say if Black moved the chariot away, Red could retreat his horse over here to attack both chariots. So if again if Black made this move, he would also still make this move, threaten to capture the Horse and the chariot also, and also attack the chariot at this point. So we would have a significant advantage 
And that is why R6 plus 2 would not be a good idea because of the presence of C5 equals to 4 over here. So a more steadfast approach would be to patrol the riverbank. And Red will immediately start focusing this attack on this file. Black switches formation. It offers a trade of pawns to uh, activate his horse. And Red would have a slight advantage in this situation. Uh, another thing to note when uh, C5 equals to 3, uh, Black was prepared to gain material by capturing the central pawn and then capturing the horse. So that is why Black played C5 equals to 6. This is a common approach in similar situations where Black could adjust his formation uh, to a more stable one and prevent this from happening. So uh, in this bot, Black Red would develop his horse as a riverbank horse for attack. In this bot, Red would uh, develop his sorry, uh, his, this would be a position discussion. Now, with the two variations, r4 plus 7 and r4 equals to 6, first would be a aggressive variation, a very pro proactive counter, and Black can still contend, will still be in contention. <coughs> um, this on the other hand, would not be perhaps not be such a good idea because Black would have wasted one move playing R four R nine equals to four followed by R four equals to six and as can be seen from the variation, the horse would be uh, the Black would have used up too many moves just moving this chariot. So uh, let us review this board from the eyes of Black. Same direction, cannons, foul chariot, rank chariot, proper horse, cross palace chariot, p3 plus 1, proper horse, double headed snake pawns, and double rank chariot. Now this is the classical position for this for this opening system. Uh, you, is Black's double rank chariot is considered to be one of the most antagonistic and best uh, counters that Black can offer in this situation. And uh, it's, it's a very fun variation to play with uh, if you are taking black. H3 plus 4, two counters, R4 plus 7, and H4, R4 goes to 6. In R4 plus 7 will usually protect the riverbank. He might adjust his formation to the seven shots formation, etc. C5 plus 4 is not a good idea because of P5 plus 1. Neither will I C8 plus 4 because this horse will be vulnerable. Attack. And Red would now go ahead and block both the elephant eyes, preparing to attack. Red would have an advantage because if the horse captured, Red would capture the cannon and immediately go for the crowning checkmate. P3 plus 1, voluntarily sacrificing a pawn. P7 plus 1, I want it to 6. R6 plus 2, and I want and red will be black will be attacking the central foul uh, mercilessly. Variation B R4 equals to six, H4 plus three to capture the pawn, gain a pawn in the process, and black better for black to play R6 equals to three. And as the as the game went on, after trading pawns, uh, it we red would have a slight advantage, but black will still have a very playable game. So I hope you've liked this short video. This is another very important opening tabia for the same direction cannons and should be mastered by uh, players with an aggressive disposition. Uh, I like to play the same direction cannons a bit. Uh, it's one of a, it's a very fun fun opening system and usually uh, uh, the margin of error is minimal or very slim. So you have to know all the tricks and all the tricks or potential traps in this opening system to be able to uh, to be able to have a playable game. So I hope if you like this short video, and I would like to express my thanks again to Master Yumi Chen and Mr. Tang Chen for allowing me to make this video. If you like the work that I've been doing, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.